Courtney Kabitza with Stalls TV. Today we're going to show you how to print tote bags using your heat press and a variety of heat transfers. For this, I'm using the Stalls Hotronics Fusion Heat Press. When printing a tote bag, you need to be considerate of where seams or any pockets or issues could come in the way of the transfer causing inaccurate pressure. If I loaded this small tote bag onto my 16 by 20 platen and went to heat press it, you would notice a lot of these seams and areas would cause inaccurate pressure because the heat press would hit this seam first prior to my transfer going down. To eliminate any issues with pressure, you can use a variety of accessories with your heat press. The first one I'm going to be using is an interchangeable platen. Interchangeable platens come in a variety of sizes to fit different pockets on different size bags. For this one, I'm using 11 by 15 because it's the exact width that I need for this specific tote bag. And will also fit my transfer grate. To change out an interchangeable platen on any stall fusion or new Hotronics machine, you can just select the button at the bottom, turn it, and lift out your platen. Once I have that done, I can drop in my 11 by 15, rotate it to fit the, the bag exactly how I need, and thread my tote bag on. As you can see now, all of the seams that were causing me pressure issues before have been opened up and laid out and I have a flat printing area. I'll preheat to remove any moisture or wrinkles and adjust my pressure as needed for the transfer. The transfer I'm going to be applying is a CAD-cut transfer in CAD-cut Premium Plus. These single color transfers apply at 300 degrees for 8 seconds and a medium pressure. Give us a few seconds to cool down since Premium Plus is a warm peel and then we can peel our carrier back. That's one tote bag completed. If your machine doesn't allow for interchangeable platens, there are other accessories that you can use when printing tote bags as well. One accessory we'll be using is the heat printing pillow. The heat printing pillow can easily just be dropped down into your tote bag to eliminate any pressure issues like we saw before on the blue tote bag. Just slide the heat printing pillow in like so, check for accurate pressure, and then do a preheat to remove any moisture and wrinkles on the bag. Since I've added the heat printing pillow, it's adding a bit of depth in between my heating element and my lower platen, so I want to make sure to adjust my pressure accordingly. Doing my preheat will allow me to check that as well. The transfer for this is also another CAD-GUT product in a two-color design. I'm going to tack my first layer down for a few seconds. This product, Fashion Film Electric, will allow you to tack for just a few seconds and peel the carrier hot. Doing this will allow me to eliminate any shrinking on my second application as I go over it with my second color. It's a great tip for when you're heat printing two colors with a CAD cut product. Grab my cover sheet since I have a few areas of vinyl exposed and I don't want them to touch the heater. And I can apply for the full time which is 15 seconds. Remove my cover sheet. And you can see with the heat printing pillow we got accurate pressure. I can peel this hot and we have a completed tote bag. The heat printing pillow works great for any transfer that applies at a medium to a light pressure. But if you're heat printing something that requires a firm pressure like a screen printed transfer, you might want to consider using a print perfect pad, which is similar to a mouse pad, um, but a little bit thicker and it'll cause a, a more of a firm pressure than a pillow would inside the bag. Similar to how I use the heat printing pillow, I'll just drop this down inside the bag. They come in a variety of sizes so you can cut them to whatever size you need to fit your transfer or the bag. Once I have that in there, I can do my preheat. Again, this is going to cause um, a little bit more space in between, so I need to adjust my pressure accordingly to make sure I'm going to have an even print surface and a, hard, and a hard pressure. Lay my transfer down on there, making sure it's going to be covering the print perfect pad, since that's the only area that's going to get the pressure. And apply for the recommended time and temperature, which is four seconds.
can peel that hot. And we have another completed tote bag.